Hey, so um, this is one of my maybe not everyday looks, but more on the casual side. Um, the eyes was were pretty easy. I maybe used four, three or four colors, and didn't really focus anything on the inner lid because I wanted that to be a little bit more neutral to make it more of the natural everyday type uh, look. Um. But yeah, I didn't do a whole lot. I think it took me probably about 20 minutes um, to do the whole entire face. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and that it's a helpful tutorial. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, so I'm just speeding it up. So now I'm gonna grab um, the color Sweetheart. And for this one, I'm using the Morphe M441. I really like this brush for my upper crease uh, transition color. And I'm just swiping it right on top and over those browns that we used, focusing a little higher up. That way it looks more blended out. And I just try, again, not to go too far into the inner corner. And just go over a few times. All right, so now I'm going to grab some hand sanitizer. So I'm about to wipe something all over my face. And I've already washed my hands beforehand, but it's just to be extra precautious because I'm weird. And then I'm going to grab the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. And just a little bit in my hand, if you can see there. And this is just, I use this as a primer. And it does smell like boy, but it smells good. And it, it does go away after a little while, so not to worry. All right, so now I'm grabbing my Damp Beauty Blender and my BB Cream from Maybelline. This is in the shade Light Medium, I believe. And I tend to use this ma mascara uh, foundation um, for more of everyday looks. And I just dot it all over my face and then I start patting it into the skin. Make sure you get all the way even to your ears so that everything looks pretty even. And make sure you try to get under your chin as well, like down to your neck. It doesn't have to be on your neck depending on how different in skin tone that your neck and your face are, but always try to, <clears throat> excuse me, match your neck versus your face. So this is a little bit of a process sometimes since you have to dab it rather than swiping it around, but I think it comes out pretty good in the end. So now it's time for concealer and I'm going to grab that same Maybelline Fit Me concealer that <clears throat> we used earlier on the eyes. And I'm just gonna put it under my eye all the way down to my cheek and as well as the center of my forehead and my nose. I get really red in between my, my eyebrows and putting a little concealer on the few little blemishes that I have. And then grab your damp beauty blender and pat it back and forth. Try your hardest not to swipe. And I try to go all the way up to my temple as well and then up a little bit. And the damp beauty blender should pick up um, any excess so it doesn't look cakey. And I'm just trying to dab over those few spots that I covered blemishes. Okay, now grab the NYX HD finishing powder. Any finishing powder you have is fine. Um, this, is, this one is in the shade Banana and I'm just Patting it into my skin over the concealer. I do it anywhere I put concealer, under the eyes and then in between the eyebrows and nose. And after I've tapped it in, then I can start swiping. I look like I'm having so much fun. I am, I like it, it's fun. And I'm singing to Taylor again. Right now I'm grabbing a smaller Real Techniques brush and I'm putting bronzer on my cheeks, well underneath my cheekbone. And I believe this is the Hula Benefit bronzer. And I'm just doing it to both sides and then I also go down to my jawbone. And then I'm grabbing a bigger fluffier Real Techniques brush and this is to get more covered 
some overall coverage of bronzer on the forehead because we don't want it to be so precise up there as we do on the cheekbone. Now I'm just grabbing this ColourPop eyebrow pencil with a spoolie on the end and I'm just filling them in a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so now I'm going to start my wing eyeliner and for this wing eyeliner I'm going to use my Stilla pin. I really like it because it's really really pointy. And I'm doing more of a little um, not so thick of a wing eyeliner. So this one's pretty simple. So I just draw on the outside and then I go to the inner lid and then I try to just stop at the center and then I start connecting them. And the wing eyeliner hardly ever comes out the same so it's really hard to narrate every little thing that I do. I just kind of use my judgment and also try not to pull at my eyelid so that I don't cause wrinkles later on. But it obviously would probably come out a lot smoother if I did tug at my lid. But if you train yourself to never do it, then you'll learn how to achieve the wing eyeliner without having to do that. Morphe B11, it's a very precise liner brush that I'm going to use for my lower lash line. I'm going to grab my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to grab this purpley plum color. I love this color for my lower lash line. And I'm just going to tap it in there, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to push it right underneath where your eyeliner normally goes. So not on your waterline, but right underneath, right where your lashes sprout from. And I'm just going to try to pat it in there and then start swiping. All right, now I'm grabbing this e.l.f. blending eye brush and I'm just buffing it with no color on the brush back and forth. So we can smoke it out a little bit on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to grab this smaller Real Techniques brush and I'm going to grab the shade, I think it's Funny Girl, on the Tartlet in Bloom palette. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this color for my inner corner, just to give it a little pop of a highlight. And then I'm also going to put a little on my brow bone. Okay, and still jamming to Taylor. She's my girl. If you don't like her, leave. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so since I'm not doing any big glam look, I'm just going to curl my lashes, use my uh, Tarte Lights camera mascara. I'm not putting on fake lashes because I hate fake lashes, but I do use them on occasion. And I'm just going to coat my lashes with some mascara. Okay, so now, this is kind of weird, but 
I really like this Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes <clears throat> mascara for my bottom lashes, but I'm out of the mascara. So I'm just dipping that brush into a newer mascara that I have and then swiping off the excess. Right now I'm grabbing this Morphe blush palette. This is the 9B palette. I use this palette all the time. And I'm just grabbing this contour brush that I'm gonna use for my blush and grabbing that color. There's no names on these colors, so. And I'm just going to put them all on my cheekbone. Pretty simple. All right, and then the last step is lips, and I'm going to use this Stila liquid lip. And I put this color on, and I just didn't really like it for this more natural look. Uh, it came out a little too dark. So then I had to get up and go grab a different color, and I believe it was still the another Stila color, but it's the color Perla. I think it is that I end up grabbing and I just go right over top of it just to lighten it up a little bit all right and then I'm just gonna put my hair down oh first I'm gonna use some Urban Decay chill setting spray so it doesn't move then put my hair down, and that's it. The look is done. Thanks.